Recently, uh, we got these MLS cards and they were just full of information about historic houses uh, from the 50s to the 70s. And we were interested in scanning them and making them available online. And we figured a good way to do that, to make them accessible, is to work with the Franklin County Genealogical and Historical Society. And then we applied for a grant with the Columbus Foundation and we received a grant. And so we're gonna start getting them scanned and getting them online. We could estimate about 100,000 cards for the whole collection. We brought over uh, a drawer just to do a test collection and to start training with the Franklin County Genealogical and Historical Society. And so we did a first batch and I scanned them and then uploaded them to our collection, which is uh, my history on our, our website. This is our test collection that we scanned. And what you'll see here is the address of the house at the top here and you'll see the listing um, real estate agent as well as the information about the house. On the backs of these cards, they have these really nice photographs of the houses uh, and oftentimes the house is next to them, um, which is really important to get the, a sense of the neighborhood. We're gonna try to put all of the houses on one street into one record here so the user can just go down the street and kind of see how their neighborhood and their street has changed through the years. Eventually, once we get these online, we will also edit the address fields, and so people can search their address and they can also see it on a map. We're hoping to have it done within about a year uh, for the whole 100,000 cards. We're really excited to get it online just because it's just a wealth of information and pictures about these houses.